Hey, I am back again with a new accessory for your Razer. So here I've got a 2015 Razer XP4 1000. Um, nothing too special, super muddy. Um, if it's not muddy, you're not doing it right, right? So what we've got here today is the Tusk uh, radio headset holder. And I just wanted to show you how easy it is to install it and uh, the benefits of it. So we've got the rugged radio um, two-person intercom system, but we were able to buy some splitters and then split it off into four people. That way it keeps the budget really low versus like thousand dollar systems that people install. And it's portable, so you're able to take it from machine to machine. It's not mounted and based in one machine. So as you can see here, I've actually got one holder mounted up here. So I'm gonna do the second one. You can check it out here, I'll show you. There you go. So it's super easy, just a couple of bolts. You got one here for the clamp to clamp to the bar and one here for the orientation of the holder itself. So typically people might run it parallel with the bar. I decided to go perpendicular because like I say, I've got four headsets. And so if I stick one offset to the left a little bit and one offset to the right, just a hair, I've got a spot for the front and a spot for the front, a spot for the rear, a spot for the rear. Um, and that way they're not also dangling above each driver or passenger or anything like that. So let me go ahead and uh, show you how to do this. It's like I say, super easy. Okay, so things that you'll need, things that it comes with is the holder itself, a billet, um, very nice, high quality, super fancy, um, looks really, really good. It'll come with a couple of different rubber spacers, depending on what size of bar you've got going on. And the only thing you'll need is a five mil Allen wrench. So on the razor, on mine at least, I used the thickest gasket in there. And I think they've got it marked as, yeah, one and three quarter inch. Probably can't see that, but one and three quarter inch bar. Pull that out, slide it into this insert after you've loosened up the nut, or you could take the grommet, rub it, put it up oh, around the bar where you want to put it. And then you'll loosen this up enough to spread the, the jaws apart and then slide it over the bar and then tighten it down and I'll show you. Okay, so you can see I've unscrewed this screw here all the way so I can, almost all the way, it's about to fall out. That way I can open up the jaw wide enough to get around the bar. And I've also loosened this bolt down here at the bottom so I can orientate that just out of the way a little bit so I can access that head a little easier. I've stuck the rubber grommet up there. Then you just stick that jaw around it and kind of hard with one hand here, but let me get that set up a little better. Okay, so now I've got it kind of there. Space it however you want, and you can see that with this being able to move, you're able to get to that bolt a little easier, because if that's in the way, it kind of makes it hard to rotate and you'll end up hitting it there. So get it to where you want it, level it out to what you think is good, tighten that bolt up, and then orientate this arm however you want it and then tighten this up. And if it'll stop spinning, we can do the same. Get that locked into place. Snug that up firmly. And it's best if you can clean your roll bar before you do this. Um, I just kind of dusted mine off, nothing too, too clean. But there you go.